I have no idea what I'm doing, but you guys don't only want to see the good stuff, right? You want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, so let's do it. Hey guys, this is Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. So this week, absolutely crazy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I thought, oh, I'm not going to post a video this week. I don't actually have, well, you might be asking, Angela, where's your cash that you're going to stuff this week? Well, there is none. So I'm actually not stuffing any cash envelopes. We're just going to kind of go through some things because I promised myself that I was going to do this every week because I need the accountability and I know that you guys want to see real life. So that is what I am here to show you. So let's move these binders over here. We'll talk about those in a minute. Let's go ahead and get out all of my receipts. I am going to be scanning those into Fetch Rewards. I also need to tell you guys, I one good thing this week, I'm absolutely loving this wallet so very much. I put this little, um, I don't know what this is called, like a charm, I guess, from Erin Condren on here just to give it a little bit of color, and it's fun. So anyways, I am absolutely loving this. So if you're looking for a new wallet, this Moterm, I think it may be, is it A6 or A7? I think it's A7, is working great. So back to the receipts. These are all the receipts that I have. A lot of them were from Christmas shopping. I am not going to make you guys sit here and watch me scan them into Fetch Rewards, but I will put my Fetch Rewards code on the screen right here, and you can use my code and you'll get points and I'll get points, and it is a win-win for everybody. Fetch Rewards, just by scanning the receipts, allows you to earn gift cards and all of that good stuff. So everybody needs to have that. It takes just a couple minutes of your time, and it is definitely worth it. So I've got my pig. It currently has $65.49. This is my change from the week. Not a whole lot, but that's okay. Some weeks it just is like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff my pig, and then I'll tell you guys how much I put in there. All right, $66.52. Oops. So we put a dollar three in here, which I'm actually surprised. I didn't even think that we were going to put a dollar. One of the reasons why we don't have much change for the pig this week is because a lot of stores are doing round up right now. So we did round up a lot of times. Okay, I'm going to set my pig aside. I do have my pig linked in the description box down below if you would like to purchase one. I am going to be emptying the pig very soon, sometime this week probably. I'm just going to take it to a coin store machine since um, we don't have a local bank to deposit it in, so that's just how I'm going to do it. All right, so it's time to see what we have in my wallet. So groceries, we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I am just going to leave this in here since we don't actually have any cash to stuff this week. Um, the reason why we don't have any cash to stuff, I have 10 in the kid envelope, so that'll be fine. Liberty has no school this week, so she isn't going to need gas money. Um, what she has in her car will be fine, and then she still has a little bit of money, you know, to go to Taco Bell or whatever with her friends. So let's see, in fun I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Typically I would take these ones out and put them in my dollar um, savings challenge, but I'm not going to this week since I don't have any cash to stuff. Um, the reason why I don't have any groceries to stuff is because um, well, let's see, what was it? Instacart? Yeah. Instacart sent me a coupon in my email where I could save like $50 off $150 purchase. So I just did Aldi pickup versus delivery. And if you are curious about how much more money it would have cost to have it delivered, my total ended up being $106 to pick it up at Aldi and I was going to be in that area anyway, so it was okay. I thought to myself, let me just see how much it will be to have it delivered because that would have been easier for me um, just to save a little bit of time, but it was over $150 to have it delivered. So I was like, no. Now I did have to give a cash tip when I picked up my order at Aldi's. 
Um, I gave, I think, $10, so I guess it really cost me $116, but that's fine. Okay, here is my binder. I still have a little bit of money in household, but we probably won't need this this week, so I'm going to go ahead and take these $4 bills and put it in my dollar savings challenge. This is for pet. I did have to get... Um, something I can't remember what I spent it on but I have six dollars in there I do have beauty still we haven't spent any of this money I thought honestly about just taking all this money out and starting over I'm like I'm just gonna take all this money out and start fresh January 1st because I'm a hot mess this week but then I was like self you do not need to do that just because you have one kind of out of whack week that just happens to be Christmas week does not mean that you're a complete failure and that you need to start all over again. It's okay to have little hiccups in the road like this. Completely fine. Just pick yourself back up and move forward. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put these dollars in the dollar savings challenge. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I do have fifteen dollars there, which is something, right? And then I have my 50 envelope challenge, which I am not doing anything with this this week. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to have to dip into it. But if I do, then I will put that money back when we get paid on Thursday. So that is it. Oh, actually, do I have anything else in here? Oh, yeah, Lucas's savings. I have that in there, too. So anyways, we are going to leave that. That is pretty much it. I do have a lot of exciting things coming up. Oh, I got this in the mail. This is the um, envelope challenge that Intentional Living uses. She has a link. I, she actually sells these boxes filled with the envelopes, but she also has a link in her um, videos where you can buy. They come with a two-pack where you can buy these from Amazon. So uh, I did that, and they came this week, or maybe they might have came last week. But anyways, I'm going to be working on the envelopes. And let me know if you want to see a video about how I'm going to put that together. Um, so I tried to buy a completed one from her shop on Black Friday, but they sold out like pretty much instantly. So I'm just going to make my own, even though it is going to be very time consuming. So there's that. Um, I'm still working on putting together my 2022 budget binder. So we've got bills and subscriptions. This is finished. Um, let's see, this is the bill checklist. I haven't done the bill checklist yet, which I need to work on that. Then I think you guys already know I marked paydays. And then I've been putting some other things over here. So yeah, a lot of things are in the works, but nothing is completely finished yet. So I'm hoping to be able to bring you some of that content next week. So I know I do have some new subscribers um, that came over because I do cash envelope stuffings this week it's just it's just how it is you guys it's christmas week i started cash stuffing in november i guess it was so i didn't have my christmas envelope fully funded so we've been cash flowing christmas and then three of us needed glasses this month um and you know we wanted to hurry up and get that done before the end of the year so that we could take advantage of this year's benefits. Our eyeglass insurance is crappy compared to our previous one, and I was not really quite prepared for that. So all kinds of things. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around, thanks for being patient with me. Um, you know, I, I said when I started this that you guys were going to see it all. So that that's what you're getting. <laughs> I guess this is probably the ugly part of cash stuffing. Is that correct? But anyways, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Um, it is Christmas Eve when I'm filming this. Some of my family is out doing some other obligations that they had. So I'm hoping to get this edited and uploaded for you guys. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.